Before we get into the video, please consider pressing the like button. Thank you. North Korea, one of the most isolated and enigmatic countries in the world, maintains an ironclad grip on its media, leaving the outside world with only fragmented and limited information about what truly goes on within its borders. The secretive nature of the regime makes it exceedingly difficult for foreigners to gain access to the country, and even when they are permitted, they are closely monitored and restricted in what they can share about their experiences. Despite the limited knowledge available, we have managed to obtain some rare footage that offers a glimpse into life in North Korea. Despite these challenges, brave journalists and individuals have managed to capture some rare footage that offers a rare and intriguing glimpse into life in North Korea. One such video highlights the perfect streets of Pyongyang, showcasing the immaculately clean and well-maintained appearance of the capital city. However, beneath this facade, lies a stark contrast between the carefully curated image presented to tourists and the harsh realities faced by millions of North Koreans living in poverty and deprivation. Another video captures a daring escape attempt by a North Korean soldier to the border between North and South Korea, symbolizing the intense desperation and desire for freedom that some citizens harbor. The soldier's journey, fraught with danger and uncertainty, exemplifies the lengths to which people will go to seek a better life outside the oppressive regime. Propaganda plays a significant role in shaping the perceptions and beliefs of North Koreans. Videos showcasing Kim Jong-un's supposed accomplishments are carefully crafted to solidify the people's unwavering allegiance to the regime. With flashy and theatrical displays, the government aims to maintain its grip on power by cultivating a sense of loyalty and awe around their leader. Not all videos serve the regime's interests. Ordinary life in North Korea is rarely captured and shared, but when glimpses of it emerge, they reveal a stark reality of harsh living conditions and widespread deprivation. Many North Koreans struggle to meet even their most basic needs. And the stark contrast between the government's extravagant displays of power and the everyday struggles of its people is deeply unsettling. These are the videos that the North Korean authorities would like to hide from the rest of the world. As it goes against their narrative and propaganda that poverty doesn't exist within the country. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, often produces lengthy propaganda videos boasting about his accomplishments. These videos depict a prosperous nation with happy people, but the reality is far from the truth. Food scarcity and deprivation plague the country's citizens, despite the government's attempt to paint a rosy picture. One heart-wrenching video exposes North Korean citizens working tirelessly, almost like slaves, to survive. These individuals push handcarts, hearkening back to medieval times, struggling to eke out a living in an environment far from the 21st century. Pyongyang has the highest standard of living for citizens in North Korea. But when compared to the rest of the world, it isn't very high. The video starts with the news team covering the story, having to walk up 13 floors to get to the apartment where they'll be filming. They explain that many North Koreans have to use the stairs because the elevators are extremely unreliable due to electric interruptions. It's not uncommon to get stuck in an elevator in North Korea. When the team finally makes it up the stairs and into the apartment, the apartment is very bare. There are a few family pictures on the walls, but the main focus of the home is the three portraits of all the North Korean dictators. The appliances in the apartment are pretty old. The refrigerator, for example, looks like it's from the 50s or 60s. Overall, the apartment looks very poor to be in the richest city in the country. This just shows how even the richest citizens of North Korea live in substandard living conditions. 
On December 29, 2015, Otto Warmbier, a 21-year-old American college student, entered North Korea on a guided tour. On January 2, 2016, Otto was arrested while waiting in the airport to fly back home. He was arrested for attempting to steal a propaganda poster from his hotel. CCTV security cameras captured him taking one of the posters down from the wall of his hotel, which was seen as a huge sign of disrespect to the North Korean government and Kim Jong-un. As a result, Otto was sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment in hard labor in North Korea. In the second video, Otto begs for mercy from the North Korean people, government, and Kim Jong-un in a press conference. He cries as he claims he made a terrible mistake. He mysteriously suffered a severe head injury, causing him to go into a coma. The North Korean government claimed that the injury came from botulism in a sleeping pill. After 17 months in a coma in captivity, Otto was finally flown to Cincinnati, Ohio, where he died days later at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. In this video, President Trump and Kim Jong-un meet up in the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Kim Jong-un invites Donald Trump to shake hands and then cross the border into North Korea with him. This video may seem anticlimactic, but it's actually extremely historically significant. President Trump is the first president of the United States to be invited into North Korea by Kim Jong-un. In this video, a North Korean man escapes from a Chinese prison by scaling a shed and hopping the fence. He was on the run for 41 days after escaping and was found hiding in a house next to a lake. After he was captured, he was hospitalized for injuries he suffered during his escape. The man named Ju Junjun had been serving an 11-year sentence for illegal entry into China, as well as robbery and larceny. Ju had only two more years left to serve on his sentence, so it's confusing why he would want to escape and possibly receive more prison time. However, Ju seemed happy with the added time to his sentence. He escaped to be imprisoned in China longer, so he wouldn't have to be deported back to North Korea after his sentence. Apparently, Chinese prisons have better living conditions than North Korea. But perhaps the most striking images were these when Kim Jong-il died. It's very disturbing to see people mourning someone who treated them so poorly. In addition to the mourning outside the gravesite, North Koreans were banned from laughing, drinking, and shopping for 11 days to show respect for the dead president. Observing the 10th death anniversary of Kim Jong-il, now the state has issued new rules to the citizens. For 11 days, North Koreans can't drink, they can't go shopping, and most importantly, they're not even allowed to laugh. See you in the next video.